dear students in this video we are going to discuss about the one of the important short answer question in the chapter of laws of motion that is define momentum and impulse and explain the law of conservation of momentum and give examples this is the one of the most important short answer question children so that's why you have to watch very carefully without any skip you have to watch it so children in our channel i am going to upload all the content of first year physics first year physics sambandhinchinatundi prati short answer long answer two marks questions kuda upload cheyabothunnanu andike mana channel subscribe chesukunte first year second year mset neat varaku kuda meeku videos anevi andubadlaku vastayi so kachithanga mana channel subscribe chesukondi mee friends kuda size cheyandi okay na so let's check on the topic kill them that is the question here define the terms momentum and impulse state and explain the law of conservation of law of conservation of linear momentum give examples so children what we know momentum the body which has some mass and velocity that should be consists of momentum simply how we can define product of mass and velocity of a body is called its momentum ఒక బాడీ యొక్క మాస్ని విలాస్ని మల్టిప్లై చేసి వచ్చేదే మొమెంటమ్ దట్ షుడ్ బి గివెన్ బై ది ఈక్వేషన్ పిఈస్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు ఎంవి సో వాట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ పిఈస్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు ఎంవి దట్ ఈస్ ద మొమెంటమ్ అండ్ యూనిట్స్ ఆఫ్ మొమెంటమ్ యూనిట్స్ ఆఫ్ మొమెంటమ్ ఎస్ఐ యూనిట్స్ ఆర్ ఫర్ మాస్ వాట్ వి నో కేజీ అండ్ ఫర్ వెలాసిటీ మీట్ ఫర్ సెకండ్ సో కేజీ మీట్ ఫర్ సెకండ్ ఈస్ ద ఎస్ఐ యూనిట్ ఆఫ్ మొమెంటమ్ అండ్ సిజిఎస్ యూనిట్స్ ఆర్ what we know gram centimeter per second gram centimeter per second that is simply about the momentum so ee question lo raya degara vishayam ide momentum ante ide rayali daniki one mark untundi and next thing is impulse what is impulse large amount of force acting on a body for a small interval of time that should be called impulse oka object meeda large amount of force pan cheyali within the small time that is what we call impulse breaking of coconut and collision between any two vehicles maniki collision rendu car lorry accident ayinappudu gantala pad accident avuthaya just fraction of seconds atla oka coconut break cheyalanna gaani large amount of force for a small interval of time so oka nail ni border lo ke wall wall lo ke enter cheyalanna we have to apply the large amount of force within a short time so danni manam impulse antam so in this case the product of force and time of interval also called impulse look here impulse definition large amount of force acting on a body for small interval of time is called impulse and children so impulse ki manaki inga rendu rakala definitions undi avu ento chuddam here simply impulse is nothing but j is equals to manam i r j tho chupistam impulse ni that is what f into delta t f into delta t so the force product of applied force and time of interval that is what we call impulse what we call impulse so according to this formula what do write si units are newton second newton second so newton second is the unit for impulse and children from that we have to derive the one relation between the impulse and momentum impulse and momentum that's go for that so here what we know we know that f is equals to m a f is equals to m a that's why i am going to write i is equals to f means what m a into delta t clear so m a into delta t m is the mass a is the acceleration delta t is the time and we know that v is equals to u plus a t from that what to write a is equals to v minus u by t now you have to substitute here i is equals to ma into delta t lo we have to substitute a is equals to v minus u by t then i is equals to m into v minus u by t into delta t here t t cancel that means what right i is equals to m of v minus u now we have to multiply that i is equals to m into v mv minus i into s or m u so here mv is the final momentum i is equals to m v means what v is the final velocity m is the mass that's why m v is what is a final momentum 
सो फाइनल मोमेंटम माइनस इनिशियल मोमेंटम इनिशियल मोमेंटम दट मीन वाट रेट ई इज ईक्वल टू चेंज इन मोमेंटम सो हियर इंपल थिंग बट चेंज इन मोमेंटम चेंज इन मोमेंटम दट वे वाट हेव टू से द फोर्स विच कैन काज इज दी इट्स मोमेंटम क्लियर when we applied some force that should be causes the change in momentum that force is called here impulse clear mana konta force apply chesina appudu aa body yokka momentum change aithe mana apply chesina force ni momentum ani antam sorry impulse ani antam clear when we applied some force force apply cheyadam valla body yokka momentum change avali so appudu aa mana edha force apply chesamo aa force ni em antam ante impulse force antam impulse force so according to this formula what we write again units are changed impulse ante endi ikkada change in momentum change in momentum ante units em anukunnam manam kg meter per second anukunnam so ikkada dariki mana rasthe two marks vasthay amma momentum definition raayali impulse definition raayali evaithe manaki derivation undo aa derivation kuda manaki single derivative raayali rasina tarvata manam law of conservation of momentum ni explain cheyali so explain chesthe daniki manaki two marks isthadu దాని డెరివేషన్ కొంచెం లెంతీ ఉంటుంది దాని షార్ట్ కట్ చేసిన ఆల్స్ ఉంటుంది అదేంటి చూద్దాం ఇప్పుడు డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ నౌ వీ హ్యావ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ది లా ఆఫ్ కన్జర్వేషన్ ఆఫ్ మొమెంటమ్ వాట్ ఈస్ లా ఆఫ్ కన్జర్వేషన్ ఆఫ్ మొమెంటమ్ ఇఫ్ దెర్ ఈస్ నో ఎక్స్టర్నల్ ఫోర్స్ యాక్టింగ్ ఆన్ ద సిస్టమ్ దెన్ ద లీనియర్ మొమెంటమ్ ఆఫ్ ది సిస్టమ్ రిమైన్స్ కాన్స్టెంట్ దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ వీ కాల్ లీ లా ఆఫ్ కన్జర్వేషన్ ఆఫ్ లీనియర్ మొమెంటమ్ If there is no external force acting on the system, system is the external force punch check up, then the linear momentum is remains constant. Momentum is constant down to the at one mark. That is why we have the law of conservation of momentum. That is why we have to prove very simple. So here we have taken two spheres, two spheres having masses M1 and M2. M1 the collision between two spheres is nothing but example for the law of conservation of momentum here we are taken m1 m2 are the mass of two spheres initially they are moving with velocities u1 and u2 and here we have to take u1 is greater than u2 then obviously they are collide each other so during the collision one should be applies the force on another body here we are having f12 what is f12 force acting on first body force acting on first body due to second one due to second body and similarly f21 force on second body force acting on second body due to first one due to first one so it means when u1 is greater than u2 both are collided each other during the collision one should be applies the force on another one for a small interval of time then again after that those two are separated and their velocities are becomes v1 and v2 v1 v2 u1 u2 are the initial velocities and v1 v2 are the final velocities now here what have to say m1 u1 is the initial momentum of first body so initial momentum initial momentum of first body what it is momentum is what mass into velocity that's what it is m1 u1 clear and similarly final momentum of first body final momentum of first body that is what here m1 u1 here m1 v1 so m1 v1 therefore change in momentum change in momentum of first body change in momentum of first body that is equals what i am going to write delta p1 or dp1 delta p1 is equals to what do you write m1 v1 minus m1 u1 clear that is about the momentum of the first body and now here initial momentum of second body initial momentum of second body so 
what is moment of mass into velocity second body mass is m2 its velocity is u2 that's what right m2 u2 clear and now final momentum final momentum of second body what did children m2 v2 yes what right m2 v2 therefore change in momentum change in momentum of second body that is what right m2 v2 minus m2 u2 that is nothing but here i am going to write delta p2 clear so delta p1 is nothing but what it is m1 u1 delta p2 this is delta p2 what it is m2 s m2 v2 minus m2 u2 so what we know newton second law according to according to newton's second law second law what we write f is equals to delta p by delta t what we write f is equals to delta p into delta t so f is equal to delta p by delta t that is what right delta p is equals now what we write f into delta t so this is the formula we are going to use delta p is equals to f into delta t clear so delta p is equals to f into delta t let us simply write it this kind of parallel f into delta delta p by delta t so here we are writing now f12 or it is f12 that is what force acting on the first one force acting on the first one because of second one that is what you have to write here delta p1 by delta t f12 is equals to delta p1 by delta t clear children so ikkada f12 and end force acting on the first one because of second one so eppude the force anedi first me act avutundi kabatti daani yokka momentum ay change avutundi kabatti delta p1 by delta t rashna so atlane ikkada em rasthunnarante f21 so f21 so newton second law prakaram f21 and em rayachu f21 is equals to f21 and end force on the second body because of first one so kabatti second body mede force act avutundi kabatti second body ka momentum change avutundi so ikkada manamu delta t1 ani delta t2 ani raayaledu because the collision is occurred in the same time ఫస్ట్ బాడీ మీద సెకండ్ బాడీ ఎంత టైంలో ఫోర్స్ అప్లై చేస్తుందో సెకండ్ బాడీ కూడా ఫస్ట్ బాడీ మీద అంతే ఫోర్స్ లో అంతే టైంలో ఫోర్స్ అప్లై చేస్తుంది సో కాబట్టి ఇప్పుడు మనము అవి రెండు రాసిన తర్వాత వీ హ్యావ్ టు గో ఫార్ న్యూటన్స్ థర్డ్ లా న్యూటన్స్ థర్డ్ లా న్యూటన్స్ థర్డ్ లా వాట్ వినో చిల్డ్రన్ ఫర్ ఎవరీ యాక్షన్ దర్ ఈస్ అన్ ఈక్వల్ అండ్ అపోజిట్ రియాక్షన్ దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ యాక్షన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు మైనస్ రియాక్షన్ సో ఫస్ట్ బాడీ మీద సెకండ్ బాడీ ఎంత ఫోర్స్ అప్లై చేస్తుందో సెకండ్ బాడీ మీద కూడా ఫస్ట్ బాడీ అంతే ఫోర్స్ అప్లై చేస్తుంది కాబట్టి సో వాట్ రైట్ అకార్డింగ్ టు న్యూటన్స్ థర్డ్ లా న్యూటన్స్ థర్డ్ లా వాట్ ఇట్ ఈ చిల్డ్రన్ ఎఫ్ వన్ టూ ఈస్ యాక్షన్ ఎఫ్ టూ వన్ ఈస్ రియాక్షన్ దట్స్ వై హాట్ హాట్ రైట్ సింప్లీ ఎఫ్ వన్ టూ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు మైనస్ ఎఫ్ టూ వన్ so what is f12 children delta p1 by delta t so delta p1 by delta t that is equals minus of delta p2 by delta t delta t delta t cancel then what you get delta p1 is equals to minus of delta p2 so children delta p1 is what m1 v1 minus m1 u1 i am going to write so that is what m1 u yeah, sorry m1 v1 m1 v1 minus m1 u1 is equals to what to write minus of delta p2 delta p2 p2 what it is s m2 v2 m2 v2 minus m2 u2 so now we have to take that is into the minus into the brackets then what to get m1 v1 minus m1 u1 is equals to minus of m2 v2 plus of minus 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 of minus plus so that is m2 u2 clear so after that you have to take them to the that side so i need some space that's why i am writing here children what we are writing 
m1 u1 m sorry m1 v1 minus m1 u1 is equals to minus m2 v2 plus m2 u2 so after that you have to take this m1 u1 to that side and you have to bring the m2 v2 to this side then what do you get we will get like this m1 v1 plus m2 v2 m1 v1 plus m2 v2 that is what here and m1 u1 plus m2 u2 so children already we discussed what it is m1 v1 is what m1 v1 is what final momentum of the first body and m2 v2 is what final momentum of second body final momentum of second body so like that here simply what you have to write look here children so final momentum of first body is m1 v1 and uh, final momentum of second body is what m2 v2 m1 v1 is what final momentum of first body m2 v2 is what final momentum of second body so that means what this is total momentum after the collision after the collision so kavati i am going to write this is a momentum after the collision momentum after the collision and here m1 v1 m1 u1 what is m1 u1 initial momentum of the first body and what is m2 u2 initial momentum of second body so this is before collision that's why here momentum before collision so therefore children momentum after the collision equals to momentum before the collision ante collision ku mundu enta momentum undo aa system di momentum collision tarvata kuda ante momentum undi ante there is no change in momentum there is no change in momentum of the system or momentum remains constant this is nothing but law of conservation of momentum so law of conservation of momentum ni ela kuda define cheyochu ela in a collision momentum before the collision equals to momentum after the collision that is also what we call law of conservation of momentum so children so ee video meeku ardham ayinatayite like cheyandi share cheyandi comment cheyandi mana channel ni mee friends ki share cheyandi kachithanga vallandariki help avutundi okay na bye take care